Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. Sorry, I had some troubles with Zoom. Now we're ready. Okay, let's see. Let's start, guys. Uh, welcome. Tell me, how, how was your day, guys? Morning. <laughs> Barry, why? What happened? I don't know, just I, all the day I had a lot of dream. I don't know why. Mm, I see, yeah. But there are some days, right, that we don't feel like, like not, well, I don't know, like normal, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm gonna um continue with my camera off. I'm having some troubles with the, I think with Zoom or in the internet. I don't know what's going on, but um, so I'm just telling you, okay. I'm gonna try to turn it on soon, okay. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna start with our session for today. This is um, our session number. Let me see, thirteen, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Okay. In today's lesson, guys, we're gonna be checking uh song models um related to permission, prohibition, and obligation. So in yesterday's class, we were talking about models are uh, related to probability right probability so we're going to be checking some examples so let's see what do you remember about these models of probability so here we have some exercises can you see that can you see models of probability yep hello hello yeah Okay. Just, just Thanks. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Um okay, so as you know, in the previous class we we're talking about these kind of models in order to talk about how something um well may uh, be or the probability of something, right? And we were talking about the percentages, right? For example, mass with a 90% sure that something is possible, might be. And we also have the adverb, maybe, could be, or maybe. So you can also use an adverb, right, in order to show probability. And we also have maybe. And um, maybe, right? Uh, and can be when you're 90% uh, sure that something is not possible, right? So let's see, uh, let's check these examples. I must be at work. So this is gonna be a 90% sure if you're so sure that you must be at work, right? You might be watching TV. He could be doing homework. She could be sleeping, for example. It may be uh, tired. They can be uh, tired and they can be, um, let's see, sleeping, for example. And uh, another one with a spider, it can't be a spider, right? So uh, when we talk about probability, the only thing that we need to keep uh, into account is the, maybe the percentage, right? If you want to show that, if you want to show a percentage or um, something like that. So here we have some examples and we have to try to join the um, sentences that we have over here with the um, probabilities using might, using can, using must, or could be. Let's see, Um, the first one, Mr. and Mrs. Olson speak Swedish. They must be from Sweden, right? Let's check the other ones. Let's read the information first. Our teacher isn't here today. Canada is smaller than Singapore. Steven is smiling a lot today. My classmate looks wet. I think she could be sick today. Okay, so we're gonna be checking that soon. 
Um, I can hear the TV in the living room. Let's see, Jenny, can you help us reading the, inform uh, the information in the bubbles? Be made, be happy about the holiday. She can't be driving to work. It must be a dinosaur. Okay. Continue, continue. It may be raining. You can continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen. Uh, we're going to be reading this first and then we're going to join it. It may be raining. It, it may be raining. Uh -huh. It could be broken. She could be sick today. Okay. It could be very important. Okay. Or it must be important. watching cartoon. cartoons. Cartoon. He must be very hungry. Really, it can be that small. Okay, cool. So that, we have to be careful because uh, five circles don't match. So we have uh, some more uh, information, right? So that is not needed. Okay, so we're gonna miss out uh, some. Okay, let's see, number, T, number two, our teacher isn't here today. So what do you think about it? Our teacher isn't here today. She, so could, she could be sick, be sick today. today. She could be sick today. Okay, let me see. Maybe I'm gonna, well, no, I'm gonna, okay. She could be sick today. Canada is smaller than Singapore. What do you think? Really, it can be the small. It could be very important. Oh, okay. Really? It can be that small. small. Let's see. Number four, what do you think? Steven is smiling, smiling a lot today. He might be happy about the holiday. He must yes. be very hungry. No. Mm, okay, so let's read this again. Steven is smiling a lot today. So do you think that he could be... Um, let me see. He must be very hungry. No. Mm, but he's smiling. I don't smile when I'm hungry. <laughs> he might happy be... Uh, might be happy about the holiday. Might be happy about the holiday. Uh -huh, because when I'm hungry, I'm not uh, usually happy. <laughs> I'm hungry, <laughs> not happy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, how about number five? What do you think? Number five. They must be from my classmate looks wet. It they may be raining. It must be from Sweden. It may be raining. Raining. What is the meaning for wet? What is wet? My classmate looks wet. Mojado. Oh, okay. Yes. So which could be the best answer for that one? It may be raining. Okay, so it because may be raining. It may be raining. Yeah, I think so. It may be raining. And I can hear the TV in the living room. So what's going on? What's going on? What do you think? Our, our kids must be watching cartoons. Yes, right. Okay, so we excellent. So you did a great job. Mm -hmm. So our kids must be watching cartoons. So I have some more exercises. So let's see how you do it. Okay, so we have checked uh, probability. Look at this probability in the present with V. So now let's check probability in the past. So we were checking some of these examples. Remember that when we talk about probability in the past, we need subject plus uh, the modal verb plus have. So you don't modify this auxiliary. So you keep the same auxiliary, even though if you use a third person singular. I must have been at work. You, you might have watched TV. 
he could have taken the money. She may have done the work. It may go to bed. We may eat in the cookies. They can't uh, have seen a ghost. Okay, let's see. Le están escribiendo que si le apoya con su cámara, teacher. Okay. Ahí en el chat. Sí. Ahorita vamos a apoyarle. Okay, let's see. Mm, look at this. Uh, remember, must have 95% sure something was possible. Might have, maybe, could have, maybe. Uh, may have, it means maybe, uh, which is, uh, let's say, 70%, maybe. And, okay, yeah, it, thanks. And can have 95% sure something was not possible. So let's see. I saw my friend run quickly to school. What do you think, guys? He might have been late. Number two. Hey, all the chocolates are gone. Number three. Jenny, can you read number three? I, I think Steven drove to work today. Okay, continue, please. The police shot a man in the bank. Mm, okay. Where did Rob and Kim go on holiday? Who broke the coffee cup yesterday? Okay, excellent. So now that we have read all that um, sentences, let's read the information uh, the bubbles. Marlene, can you help us reading that? Yes, they might have walk to work. Okay. No veo el piche. No de arriba. She might have been late. John must have written it. Mm -hmm. It may have begun already. It could have been a ghost. Mm -hmm. Sarah may have dropped it. He must have been a robber. Tommy might have not eaten them. He can have been very happy. No, he can have driven, driven. They could have flown to Poland. Uh, that's the last one, thanks. The last one. Mm -hmm, that's the last one. Okay, so let's see, uh, number two. Hey, all the chocolates are gone. What do you think? Tommy might have eaten them. <laughs> yeah. So has it happened to you? When you leave something in the fridge and... Um, in my case, my son. <laughs> it suddenly disappeared. Everything uh -huh. I have. <laughs> Everything you leave <laughs> in the fridge disappears. Yes. Um, it happens. <laughs> Okay, how about number three? I think Steven dropped to work today. No, he can't no, have to be driving. Uh -huh. so what do you think? No, he no, can't no, have to no, no, be driving. Okay, let's see. Number four, the police shot the man in the bank. It might have begun already. He must have been a robber. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what do you think about number five? Where did Rob and Kim go on holiday?
They go have flown up to Poland. Mm, okay. So they could have flown to Poland. Who broke the coffee cup yesterday? <laughs> what do you think? So there are two possibilities. <laughs> Do you get it? It could, it could have been a ghost. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it could have been a ghost. Or what is the second possibility? Okay, so we have this one and that's the other possibility, the one that we... Maybe thing is correct. Sara may have dropped it. So she dropped it. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, well, we're not really good at drawing, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh we have one more example. Let's see how we uh, do it. Okay, the same. Um, okay, so this is in the present, the same in the present. And now you're going to try to give me some descriptions. In the present, I must be at work. You might be watching TV. He could be doing homework. She may be sleeping. It can be spider. We can be tired. They uh, could be doing homework again. So let's see. So write sentences about the picture below using models of probability. So try to give me some descriptions about these six pictures. Number one, what do you think? Probability. I'm going to help you with the subject. Okay, so I did a lot. He. Number one, what do you think? So let's write some sentences. What do you think? He must, he must be 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, he must be eating the cake. the cake. Okay, yeah, could be. Um, number two, what do you think? I think I saw that guy in a cartoon. Number two, any idea? He may go to hunter hunter. Oh, okay. Can you can repeat your example. He may go to no sé cómo se dice cazar hunter. Mm, okay, hunting. Uh -huh. Hunting. Yeah, in this case, we're using these uh, adverbs of this model, so probability with B. He may be hunting. Okay, let's see another one. Number three, picture three. So I don't know what to think about it, but you you maybe you have some ideas. It might the be laughing. I confusing. <laughs> uh huh. He might be laughing. Okay, he might be laughing. Okay. Okay. So how about the next one, number four? He looks like a robot, right? So you can use any of that models. Must be, might be, could be, maybe, can't be. He could be working. Mm -hmm. He could be working. Good. About picture five. My goodness. He must be angry. Mm -hmm. He or she? I don't know. She. <laughs> me, me neither. I don't know. 
Is he or she? Monster, uh, I don't know. Um, not confused. <laughs> I think that is she. Maybe. Yeah, I think so, but I'm not pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure about it. <laughs> okay. Um, he or she. Um, let's see. She. She. Mm, maybe. She may be what? She may be angry. Angry. You know how? Angry. Okay, angry, angry, and the last one, number six. He must be yelling. He must be yelling. He. The guy, the little guy, the boy. Is scared. Okay, he must be scared. Yeah, right. So yeah. I don't think that uh, somebody, well, he, he can, uh, maybe he, he must be trying to escape. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but definitely it can be a dinosaur. I don't think so. Quiere comer, creo. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing some. <laughs> Okay, so it can be a dinosaur. So it probably is uh, something else. It's an alligator or, or a caiman <laughs> or a crocodile. Godzilla. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let's see. So we have a uh, talk about probability. So now we continue into our new topic, which is uh, just give me a couple of seconds. I'm going to close this. So I need that space. Okay, perfect. So in today's lesson, um, we're gonna be checking the following. Look at this. By the end of this class, participants will now practice how to use models to express permission, obligation, and prohibition. So as far as we know, uh, models have different usages in order to talk about abilities, probability and now we're going to be checking these models in order to express permission obligation and prohibition so let's see um we're going to be watching a video with this uh, grammar point and here you're allowed it okay so let me check the audio just a couple of seconds. Okay, perfect. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be checking this model can in order to show permission, can, and you're allowed to. These both uh, models have the same meaning, okay? So you can use them interchangeable. You can come here. You're allowed to. So what is the meaning for allowed to? Guys, do you know? Allowed to? Permitir. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Um, Let's say, yeah, you're allowed to take off your shoes. Te permite quitarte los zapatos, right? So you're allowed to do that. So, or you can camp here. You can take off your shoes. And when we talk about obligation, we have two important models, which are uh, have to and, um, well, uh, have got to, it's a perfect tense, but be besides that, we're going to be checking the model must in order to show this uh, obligation. And we're going to be checking the difference between uh, have to and must. But let's have a look at the examples. You have to come here. So there is an obligation. There is um, something required from somebody else. We use have to. And uh, they say you've got to take off your shoes. 
And with prohibition, we use we commonly use can't and aren't allowed to. And um, besides that, uh, you can also use must. We're going to be checking that soon. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They're not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What, what can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your example. Okay, so here we have some common questions, but I'm going to show you before continuing with that. Um, in here, we have some, let's say, like a few models in order to express a permission, prohibition, and obligation, but there are some more, like must um, and some others. So I'm going to show it to you so we can have a um, clear understanding of it, and then we continue with the practice. Let's see, I'm going to need your help in order to read this information. Maybe, Edgar, could you help us, Edgar, obligation and prohibitions? Okay, so let me see somebody else. Maybe Adeli, Adeli, help us, Adeli. Obligation and prohibition. And say when we want to express permission, responsibilities, obligation, or provision, we use modal verbs. Mm -hmm. Prohibition. Continue. Yeah, please. Have to and must are used to express obligation. Don't have to is used to express that sometimes something is not required and most not is used to express prohib prohibition. Prohibition, prohibition. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to express permission, responsibilities, obligation, or prohibition. We use modal verbs. Have to and must are used to express obligation. So let's see, we also have don't have to, which is used to express that something is not required. And mustn't is used to express prohibition. For example, what is a responsibility uh, that you have to do, an obligation? For example, I have to work. What is something else that you have to do? Guys? I have to. I have to pay my bills. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's an obligation, right? Mm, okay, so interesting. Hold on, hold on a second. This is interesting. So I have to pay my bills. Yes, you have to pay your bills. So there is something that it's uh, you're required to do, right? But for example, I can say, I can also say I must pay my bills. And which is the difference between have to and must? The difference in the meaning is that have to is when, is when you um, are required to do something, for example, because of an external, um, let's say, component, because uh, someone has, um, let's say, for example, when you work for a company, uh, there are some rules that you have to follow. For example, I have to be to be at work by eight. So there is a there is an external obligation that you have to let's say to complete. So I have to be at work by eight. But when you use must, that is not an external obligation. So you um you decide to do so. For example, I must study so this is kind of personal a must study so that is uh, let's say like a responsibility that you have to do so i must study in order to pass my test i must uh, let's say 
I must be at home by seven. So that's based on your own opinion, based on uh, your own responsibility, right? So you have to do that. So let's continue checking a little bit more about it. Okay, don't have to use to express that something is not required. I don't have to study, I don't have to work. So not needed, right? And Masen, yes, when you want to express prohibition, we're gonna be checking some examples. Uh, hold on. Okay, so look at this. Uh, help us with this. Um, let me see, maybe. Um, okay, Roberto, help us, please. Must. Okay, uh, must and must are the same for all person. We use must when we think th this is important to do an action or give people orders. You must be home by 11. She must uh, tie, uh, tidy, up. tidy up her room every day. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. When you use must, uh, it's because you think that something is important. It's because you think that you have to do something. Um, and besides that, you can also use that in order to uh, give some people orders, right? So you must be home by 11, so that's an order. She must tidy up her room every day. So that's a responsibility, right? Something that you have to do, but so because it's uh, what you think, right? So that's your opinion. So I must, as I was telling you, I must study to graduate, for example. So that's my own responsibility. So that's from your own uh, perspective, let's say. Okay, let's see. So tell me something that you must do, guys. Something that you must do. For example, I must, uh, let me see, study for um, my driver's license. Okay, so what is something that you, that you think that you have to do, that you must do? I must do my English homework. Yes, right, I must do my English homework. Okay, anybody else? Uh, Jenny, something else? What is something that you must do? I must study every day English. Uh -huh. so I must study every I day. Must study. Uh -huh. I must study English every day. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I must work out every day. Oh, I yeah. am. <laughs> No, not possible. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm I'm also thinking about it, but I don't do it, but I must. Okay, let's see. Selma, what do you think? Selma, what is something that you must do? Uh, Sarita? Wendy? Tell me, tell me something that you must do. Me, teacher, I must save money. Oh, yes, indeed. I must save money, okay? To buy what? To do what? What is your purpose? For example, to buy a house. Uh, yes, teacher, to buy a house. Um, let's say, or, or to buy a house, uh, a house beach, for example. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. So now let's continue. We're going to be checking the next one, which is, um, okay. When we use must for obligation. So when do we use must for obligation? When the obligation comes from the speaker, right? So this is very similar, right, to the previous examples. I must go to the doctor. I don't feel well. So that's your responsibility, your obligation to take care of yourself. I must have uh, my homework ready tonight. I must stop smoking, right? So remember, the obligation comes from you, from the speaker. So that is what we think 
is our obligation or responsibility. Let's see. Um, okay, have to. So how about have to? Oh, Jenny, could you help us please with have to? We use have to where the obligation comes from some else, not the speaker, for an action that is necessary because of rulers. Rules, rules. Oh, rules, pardon. Mm -hmm. Sorry, okay, someone, someone. Someone else. Mm -hmm. Someone else. Okay, so, um, yes, uh, we were mentioning this before, right? So we use have to when the obligation comes from someone else, not the speaker, not me. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. Um, or because you follow, right, some rules. Um, examples, look at this. Um, we have to be at the airport three hours before the flight leaves. At work, I have to wear a uniform. I don't want to, but I have to because I need to, I have to follow these rules, right? My father has to pay the rent every month. So what are some rules that you have to follow, guys? What are some rules? For example, I have to, let me see, okay. I have to go to the gym. Okay, is it required from your job, from your company? Yes or no? I have to clean the classroom every oh. day. Mm -hmm. So that is something that you are required, that you're asked to do. So there is no, um, okay. So remember, uh, when the obligation comes from someone else, this someone else can be the company, okay? The company, company that you work for, the school, anything else, a university, the, the office, the church, mm -hmm. the somebody. Office. Uh -huh. An office, mm -hmm. someone that has uh, authority over you, right? Okay. In the street. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I drive. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do when you drive? I have to respect all the signs, right? It's um, for ruling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, traffic rules, the law, mm -hmm. okay. the signs, I'll say signs. Mm -hmm. Let's see the symbols. Um, so what else do you have to do, guys? At work? Roberto, Salman, Wendy. I have to show up early to close. I have to, uh, how do you say, uh, present a show up? Submit. I'll say submit. Submit. To submit. Submit what? Uh, early. Uh, oh, you mean um, that you have to be at work um, early? Early, yeah. Mm, okay, I have to be early. Early. Okay, something else, guys, that you have to fo follow? Teacher, I have one. Uh -huh. I have to pay the school. I have to pay the school. The school? But, you know, yes. I don't know. Huh? Yes. I don't know if correct, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that you have to do something because somebody else has required that for you, right? It's not because you want to. Yeah, in that sense, yeah, it could be possible. You, I have to pay the, the bills. I have to pay, let's say, um, the mm -hmm. school. I have to pay the taxes, for example. The taxes, yes. Yeah, we have to pay the taxes. For example, I have to send uh, emails to my boss. Yes. I have to, 
Ok. So I could be. I have to be at one um, p.m. after after lunch, right? So you have to do it, right? Because we have to follow the rules. It's not because we want it, it's because we have to. Mm -hmm. So that would be the main difference between. Okay, so I have. Uh, I have to. I have to be. Take a lunch. Or. I have to be. Oh, I have to. I have to. Uh -huh. Maybe eat. It's eat. that way. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. I have to eat. Eat. A lunch. Okay, I have to eat lunch. But you know, in this case, there is no an obligation or responsibility um from your comp from somebody else so i think i'll say i must eat lunch because uh, that's my responsibility i must eat lunch remember the difference between these have two is the have two the obligation comes from someone else from the company i have to be friendly <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, right? So you have to be friendly because if not, <laughs> okay, something will happen. I have to, yeah, what are some common things, some policies that you have to follow up work? Um, I have to be early. I have to be early in the office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to early. We already have it here. Okay. Is clear the meaning between must and have to? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hope so. <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. You got it. Okay. So at work, I have to wear uniform. So these are some obligations, right? So that you have to... Uh, Say so complete for your company. My father has to pay the rent every month. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have mustn. Mustn is used to say that something is against the rules or against the law. For example, you mustn't. Uh, here, when we use mustn't, we're talking about prohibition, right? Prohibition. You mustn't smoke at school mm -hmm. because this is against the rules or against the law. So it means prohibition. You mustn't use your telephone on a plane. So I think I have a picture over here. So just let me check it. Um, where is it? Uh, okay, so I'm, we're gonna check some. So when we want to express prohibition, we use mustn't. For example, look at this. Traffic rules, must or mustn't. Look at the signs and fill in the blanks with the mass uh, with mass or massing. For example, how about this one? What do you think? You must mm -hmm. must go straight. Okay, so you must. I'm gonna write it here. You must. Can you read it complete? Um, the complete sentence, Jenny. You must go straight. I have to most turn left or right. Okay, nice. Number two, volunteer. Me, teacher. Hey, Marlene. Uh, you mustn't turn right when you see this traffic sink. sign. Mm -hmm. Sign. So you mustn't uh, turn right when you see this traffic sign. Yes, right. So then the number three, volunteer. Maybe. You mustn't. Uh huh. You mustn't. What? You mustn't make. You mustn't make. Uh, your turn when you see this traffic sign. Uh huh. Yes. Number four. Volunteer. Me teacher. Okay. Got it. You must turn left or right. 
Okay. You must turn left or right. You must and, go straight. And then? You must? You must go straight. 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 Okay. So you see, you're learning about in order to get your driver license, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to talk with my boss. <laughs> Let's see. Number five. What do you think? Five. You must, you must be go. careful. Mm -hmm. There is a bride that might be up and ahead. Okay, bridge, bridge. There is a bridge that might be open ahead. Okay, number six. Let's see what do we have for number six. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's complete this one. If you want to be safe, on traffic you, what do you have to do? You must obey. Must obey of the traffic rules. What else? You must you be very careful when you are uh, roads. on roads. On roads, okay, on roads. You mustn't drive fast. You mustn't drive fast. Okay, so you must drive fast or carelessly okay so let's continue with the next one uh, let's say that this is seven okay this one seven this one this one anybody you must be careful because there is a way what is the pronunciation railway 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 ahead ahead okay number eight volunteer Mm, okay, so what do you think when about you, uh -huh. when, when you see this traffic sign, you must stop. Okay. You sure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember that sign. <laughs> um, Roberto, what do you think? Um, when you when you see this traffic traffic sign you must stop but i don't know which sign is this um yeah i'm thinking about it and i'm not really sure if i must stop or not but let's say that we must yeah i guess it's red right okay let's see um uh, the next one is um this one okay here what do you think guys number nine you must set turn left when you see this traffic sign okay how about 10 anybody selma you must you uh -huh. must drive by 50? 50, 50 kilometers per hour, hour at most when you see this sign. Okay, so you must. Okay, how about well when you see this traffic scene you must be <clears throat> I'm not really sure about these traffic signs, you know. It's not really clear. But what do you think? So when you see this sign, you must or mustn't. Must. 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 Okay. Must watch for the traffic light. The traffic lights. Okay. 13. Okay. The sign says that you mustn't park your car here. 
Park. You mustn't. So this sign says that you mustn't park your car here. And the last one, 14. When you see this traffic sign, you must be you must be attentive, right? Okay, nice. Thanks, guys. Um, let me see. I'm gonna close this, and now we continue. We have some more information, so just let me open. go back to that. Okay, here. So we were here. Okay. Um, besides the ones that we were shown. We also have don't have to, um, and it's just to show, uh, used to show that there is no obligation, right? In the in this restaurant, you don't have to wear a tie. My brother doesn't have to wear a uniform at, at his school. We don't have to get up early on weekends. So I think that that's clear. I don't have to, let's say, to to go to a place, uh, example, to work. Let's see. Let's uh, try. Um, with some exercises. So I'm gonna need your help. What do you think? So we have have to, don't have to, mustn't, and shouldn't. Um, so just let me share a little bit about shouldn't. I think I have it over here. You have to. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We use if you don't want to. You have to come with us if you don't want to. Or you don't, you have, don't to. have to. You don't have to. Okay. Got it. I think uh, um, just one thing. When you use should, you're giving an advice. Should. It's an advice. I think. Feel. Feel. I think you, you should visit your grandma more often. You should. Okay. Good. You got it. You should. Look at the sign. You. You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Don't okay. have to. Uh, must. Mustn't, right? So you mustn't. Remember that you give your, uh, you 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 express what you think when you use uh, must. Okay. So I consider that I that you mustn't take pictures. Okay. How about this one? Or there is a prohibition as well. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to feed the dog. Okay. You already done it. You don't have to. Oh, I think you have finished being lost. All right, we have finished. We. Lost. We have. To, we have to or we should have a break now we mm -hmm. should yes it was we should, should right how about this one i i should must i must have i must I study must hard study if i want to pass the exam i must must so that's your own opinion when you use must Okay, you. You give me the book back tomorrow. I don't need it until next Monday. You mustn't. You can't give me the book back tomorrow. So read it again. So think about your answer. Monday. Don't have I don't need it. I shouldn't. You shouldn't give me the book. Don't have to. You can. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the last one that we have been talking about, right? <laughs> don't have to. So there is no okay. necessity, right? 
Must. Must. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. You mustn't smoke in the hospital. There's a prohibition. Okay. I already found Jane. You. I already found Jane. You must. Must do it. You must have do to. It. Mustn't or you don't have to. Mustn't. Don't have to. Don't have to. Mm -hmm. Don't have to, right? How about this one? What do you think? He's getting deaf. He listened to his MP3 player so loud. He's getting don't deaf. Have, don't have to. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You can also use should in order to express, um, I would also say must, but no, shouldn't is an advisory. Okay, so how about this one? You. You don't have to, but you're a teacher. Must. Okay, what do you think? Must. <laughs> okay, uh, let us see. Okay. Bring some, let me see, some food. There is no restaurant where we're going and the tree will be long. You must. You must. You have to. Mm, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to die. <laughs> and the last one. <laughs> you. Um, you sure? You sure? No, no. You don't have. Don't you have. Sent. You don't have. No. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. <laughs> Let's vote. Volunteers, uh, what do you think? You don't, don't have to. You don't, don't have to. We don't have to talk tell. about okay. the fire. No. No. Oh my gosh. You must. You must. You must. Uh, <laughs> you must. 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 You me retiro, nos vemos. Ah. Okay. You look tired. I think you. Have to. Yes. So. My goodness. Uh, was it hard? I have to take a nap. Take a nap. Are you sure? Have to. I think you. Boys, what do you think? You. You must. Must take a nap. You look tired. I think you to feel have to take a nap. Take a nap. Must teach. Yeah. I know. Aplazada. But the thing is that. Ya ve, yo le dije Shul. No me escuchó. <risa> Ahora que estaba correcta. <risa> no me tomo en cuenta la dicha. La ignoración, hermana. Ok, sí, no vale. decir, Maybe this can help us. Remember, mustn't have to obligation. Mustn't prohibition. Don't have to lack of obligation and should advise. So that's all that you have to need to know. But um but we were talking about, let me see, where is it? Um, last, um, sadly, okay, here. 
but there are some slightly different, right? So mustn't used to show something is against the rules. Um, have to when the obligations come from someone else, not the speaker. Must when the obligation comes from the speaker. I must go to the doctor. So there's an obligation, but you have to be responsible for that. Okay, and let me see. Must okay. So you must be home by 11. So we must, we just must when we think it's important to do an action or we give people orders. So you must study more. Mm -hmm. So we, we think something is important and should uh, remember that's for advice. Um, I'm gonna send the PPT, okay? So just let me pass the attendance list, please say present. And then you're uh, free to to go and sleep and maybe think about should must and have to okay. I want to take a coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, really tired. I need to drink coffee. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Más que me hizo la ignoración, teacher. Con más ganas, más que me hizo café. <laughs> y ahora que yo dije lo bueno, le salió mal, ya ves. Ah. Uh, so we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> ya no me va a decir nada. Ok, Edgar, Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely López Campos. I'm here, teacher. Giselle Maria Hernández Torres. Giselle Maria Hernández Torres. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present. José Lina Alvarenga Gómez. Present. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Thanks. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Giselle present in the chat. In Carolina okay. present in the chat. Okay, Marlene Elizabeth Bayo Aragona. Present teacher. Okay, you're here. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present. Thanks, Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thanks, Roberto Eduardo Camilla Garcia. Present teacher. Sara Elisa Villoso Hernández. Present. Thanks, Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present. Thanks, Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present, Present teacher. Thanks, Wendy. Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Last but not least. Okay, thanks guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Remember we have a class, even though it's Friday. We have a class. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Uh, Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye, Jenny. Bye, Good my night, bye. Malene. Bye. 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 Malene. <laughs> See you on Monday. Bye, Malene. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Jenny. Tomorrow, Marlene. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>